um, this video is concerning uh, a friend of mine, the death of my friend, uh, Charlie Garcia. Uh, sinaway ko na po na ano yun gusto ko may ipakita ko sa inyo kung gano ako concerned sa aking pinibigyan na hindi mo lang ang pinikita sa tingin ko there were a lot of things na neglect neglected by the organizers the producers maybe the director of the show sorry po kung samaan kayo Hello. I think uh, there are things that you should have anticipated before, during, and after the show. Uh, before, ito ho yung nga naisip ko. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm missing anything, correct me if I'm just talking too much. For me kasi, uh, based on what I've learned, as physical therapist kailangan on every show meron po tayong nakaabang na ambulance I don't know if you have it there during uh, the show in Abra meron po kayong ambulance uh, uh, kailangan doon sa ambulance meron paramedic meron nurses at least two nurses meron physical therapist uh, uh, physical therapist would be used mostly for those who are dancing in case of injuries uh, tapos knowing na may stairs pa yung stage pag merong nakulog kailangan ko talang yung physical therapist doon uh, you ano pa ba yun I don't know if you really need a, really, if you really need a phlebotomist or a med a med tech there to check the blood and firstly, kailangan po talaga bago sumumpa ang bawat challenge sa stage. Kahit pa po bago umalis siguro ng bahay, kailangan na, na vital signs na sila. Lalo na po sa case ni Chocolate, alam naman po pala ng karamihan na mayroon siyang heart problem. May history siya ng heart ailment. Sana po before siya sumumpa sa stage, na blood pressure niya na siya. Dahil for sure po, kung bin blood pressure niya siya, Sigurado makikita ninyo na mataas ang blood pressure niya at saka ang pulse rate niya ay sigurado sobrang taas. Kitang-kita naman po sa kanya struggling sa pag-gas uh, niya po ng air dun sa stage. Uh, from the start, kitang-kita na until the end, pinilit niya pa rin tapusin. Kahit ang pinilit niya tapusin, it's not about being professional, it's about we're talking about we're talking about life here we're talking about a person who is working for a living kaya kailangan meron mga ganito klaseng materials at meron din nga pong ambulance na kasama at mga taong ganun so ulitin ko po doctor at least two nurses kundi doctor paramedic one or two physical therapists uh, if necessary pwede rin pong merong medtech or phlebotomist to extract their blood in case needed tapos first aid kits kailangan din po yan yung mga you know first aid medications lalo na sa case ni chocolate uh, kailangan po ay Meron kayo dyan at least yung para sa heart, yung nagre-regulate ng uh, rate, uh, heart rate. Pwede dyan yung carvedilol, pwede rin dyan yung uh, metroprolol, metro, metoprolol. Pwede rin po yan doon. Uh, those, those medications help relax the heart muscles. Ngayon, kapag na-relax na yung heart muscles niya, pwede na siyang... Now, while, while tinatravel nga po siya, papunta ng hospital, pwede na po siyang bigyan nun. 
kung capable po siya ng swallowing. Pero pag kunwari nagagas na siya ng sobra ng air at hindi na siya makalunok, huwag po, hindi po siya pwedeng basta painumin po na gano'n. Kasi baka lalong bumara yun sa kanyang talamunan at sa baga niya. Ngayon po. Yun, yun nga po sana, no, napainom siya. If you're ever, if ever you were able to administer that to him, thank you po. Tapos, uh, meron namang isa yung pwede rin yung losartan para sa high blood pressure pwede rin yung derapamil para sa control ng uh, yung tinatawag na tachycardia and uh, arrhythmia tachycardia yung pagtaas ng heart rate pagbilis ng heart rate yung arrhythmia naman yung pagbaba pagbabaga ng heart rate so these medications including carbidolone nga po which I have taken before ayan po ay nag, nagbabalanse eh. at nag lalo pang mataas pinabababa niya ang heart rate para ma-relax ang heart niya ngayon kapag na-relax na yung heart rate niya darating pwede I think uh, pwede rin siyang bigyan ng sedative eh, para makatulog siya o kaya naman kahit mapaantok lang mapatulog para makatulog po siya ngayon po naka-rest na siya for several hours and if they need uh, to extract water from his uh, lungs uh, that is the good time for it to be to be done okay tapos alright eto pa po yung mga Alala ko mga kailangan pa po dun sa loob ng ambulance. Kailangan po merong oxygen. Uh, Siyempre yung first aid kit. Alam din po natin yan kung ano yung mga laman yan. You can check it out on the internet as well. And syempre meron kailangan na defibrillator. On the case of uh, our friend Chocolate kailangan ginamitan din siya sana ng defibrillator defibrillator it normalizes the heartbeat kung sobrang taas tachycardia ta tachycardia taas pababa, pwede niyang pababain ang heartbeat or ang heart rate kung kung bradycardia naman ba baba bradycardia mababa ang heart rate pwede niya itong pataasin so it normalizes it can normalize the heart rate para hindi nag-struggle yung taong suffering from those uh, cases all right kung meron namang arrhythmia irregular yung uh, heartbeat niya pwede pa rin ang defibrillator it can regulate the heart rate or the heartbeat of the person suffering with that okay and uh, baba Ayun, in cases na alam niyo hindi na kinaya ng defibrillator or talagang parang halos na matingin yung tao at parang wala nung pulse, wala nung pulse rate, ito kailangan din na meron ito sa ambulance, yung electric shock. Kailangan meron din po yan sa ambulance dahil kapag ang tao ay talagang nawala na ng pulse dun sa loob ng ambulance, it's a necessity the paramedics can use that electric shock to revive the person's life alright so ayun po, ayun lang po uh, ayun pa po ang aking mga naalala kailangan po sa ambulance and kung meron pa po kayong ibang mga naalala so help me uh, say it here maybe you can write it as a comment mm, i-add nyo lang po and you can say it to me uh, you know can tell it to us uh, para makatulong po dito sa aking mga sinabi at mga pakiusap sa ating mga uh, event organizers and producers yan po alright and yun nga po sa, uh, sa Senado sana nga po ay pabigyan nyo po ito ng pansin kasi it's very important po ano Uh, I, I can't I, I can't imagine uh, a country or a city without entertainers 
without comedians, without singers, without actors, without dancers. All and every field of entertainers, directors, producers, I can't imagine uh, a city and a country and a life without that. So I hope you take action on this because you need us, you need entertainers, and you need artists. Um, ang talent po ay sabi nga po ay hindi nga daw po nagbibili ang talent po ay isa po sa uh, sangay ng talino nga daw po ng tao uh, ito ay very, uh, very very important po na bigyan nyo po ng pansin sana po ay bigyan nyo ng alam nyo yun ng part sa ating batas na mabigyan ito ng uh, importansya uh, uh, how do I say this maybe add few articles about this on the constitution uh, it would be really helpful for all of us alright po and that's it thank you so much thank you Tapos, during the during the performance, kitang-kita naman po natin lahat na ano uh, from the very first three steps lang steps, from the very first until the third step pa lang niya to, on the stage, kitang-kita naman na, kitang-kita na naman po natin na nag-struggle na siya sa hinihin niya uh, sana naman po ay Alam niyo yun, sana naman po ay pinigilan niyo na siya mag-perform. Hindi nga po ito tungkol sa, ano eh, sa professionalism. It's a matter of life and death that, we, uh, that you have to have, uh, you know, that you are dealing with. Dapat may pumigil na sa kanya. Pinalis sa stage at nagsabi na yung mga staff na, alam niyo yun, uh, pasensya na po at uh, kailangan lang po namin uh, i-check ang condition ni chocolate ganun, pwede ganun, pwede namang hayaan nyo lang, basta sabihan nyo, uh, paalisin nyo na sa stage uh, he's not feeling well people will understand Nahalata, halatang halata po kahit dun sa video hirap na hirap na siya, nakikita ng mga tao yung mga tao hindi na halos makatawa at hindi na halos makasigaw dahil alam nilang he was already struggling with his breathing with his speech he's already coughing almost going to faint kulang na lang yun na nga, kulang na lang bumagsak sa stage eh bakit wala pong nakaisip sa inyo sana na paalis na sa stage at akayin siya at tukuron sa likod sa backstage at dali na siya sa ambulance to be sent to the hospital sana po ganun ayun lang it's a, it's a negligence that was made by you know the, the whole the whole team of the show I'm sorry to say that but it's the truth I'm sorry to say that but it's the truth and it hurts too much to have you know anyone not only with chocolate if anyone if, if, if this will happen to anyone it will really hurt uh, you know losing someone's life and I hope you understand that it's the same it's the same with you if you lose someone not if not even an entertainer, if you lose someone with that same incident, manghihinayang kayo eh. Kasi, uh, for sure yeah. for me, as a medical ano, uh, student, alam ko, naka, kung naagapan siya, buhay pa talaga siya. Ang lakas-lakas eh. Kinaya niya, biruin niyo, I think he spent more than an hour sa stage. Or if not, 30 minutes, 45 minutes is too much for someone who's already struggling on his life. Okay, um, after naman, ang napansin ko, I was, I was there kasi last night sa burol ni Chocolate, I was listening to uh, the person who was also uh, one of those uh, organizers at the event, uh, Dun Sa Abra, uh, 
yung yung concert nila yung concert nila ron sa Abra uh, the girl was uh, the lady was explaining things to to you know to chocolate's friends and to us um nahirinig ko na parang hindi yata maganda yung the transport uh, kay chocolates uh, uh, sa body ni chocolates from the hospital to the airport uh, I think uh, para na lang sa ano uh, to give respect to the to the person's life uh, family and friends sana naman po kung uh, alam nyo yun a lot of organizers would surely have, and 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 the, and the executive producers of the show would surely have a lovely vehicle that could transport him from the um, from the hospital to the airport. From what I have heard, I don't know if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hindi ata maganda yung pagkaka transport sa kanya pati sa sakyan na pinagisakyan pinaglagyan sa kanya pagpunta sa airport. Uh, alam niyo yun, to give respect lang po sana uh, dun sa artist uh, who's helping you if not if not from these artists um, uh, you won't have a show you won't have entertainment people won't be able to be happy they won't laugh y you know I, I know you know that um, you know uh, aside from that the big thing is that you won't earn money. Exactly, money. We won't have this earnings that we are having if not because of these entertainers. Uh, sana po man lang, nakontak nyo nga po sila Miss K. Brosas or sila Pokwa, Miss Pokwang or si si uh, si Mr. Poo Tsaka si uh, si Mr. Alan K. Uh, uh, I think Alan, Mr. Alan K. is the is the manager of Chocolate. Sana po nakontak niyo man sila para nagawa nila ang paraan nga na may transport si Chocolate with a, you know with with a nice vehicle. Or sana man lang merong Alam nyo, may nagkawang gawa na isa kaysa sa maganda sasakyan. Just to give respect to the person's body. Kahit dun sa body na lang ng tao. The person's name and the friends and the relatives of chocolate. Okay, I think uh, that would be all regarding the incident. And now, gusto ko lang hong sabihin sa inyo lahat na uh, uh, I, I'm also a singer. I'm, a, I'm an entertainer. This is already ano eh, a wake-up call. Wake-up call na po ito. Ay, hindi na po natin kailangan talagang hintayin uling may mangyaring ganito bago tayo mag-take ng action. If you think that uh, a lot of things were neglected and there are people who, you know, who should be um, responsible for this, uh, who should be held liable regarding this incident and the death of Mr. Jonathan Chocolate Garcia. I think uh, you should already start now. You should take action regarding this. Who's, uh, whoever is, you know, uh, responsible to address this negligence to those people, kailangan po puntahan yun na, sabihan yun na, at gawin yun na. If you, you know, if you need any, if you need to do anything that um, under legal actions, it's up to you. But for me. You should do it now. Now is the time. I think this is a wake-up call for all the artists around the Philippines and all over the world. Um, uh, Mr. Chocolate, a good friend of mine, 
has given us this wake up call. So, the people na, who should held liable for this, I, I think, I know, uh, they would also under, understand uh, the responsibilities naman, di ba? Kung kailangan nilang harapin ang isang kaso regarding this, uh, kailangan po siguro maituloy yun. Kasi kung hindi, paano na lang yun? Ganun na lang ba yun? Dahil patay na siya, hayaan na natin. Parang uh, forgive and forget, sorry na lang, ganun. Parang hindi yata maganda kasi manguulit na manguulit lang yan eh. Uh, ang hirap bilang tao kasi alam niyo yun, hindi man siya hindi man hindi man artist ang isang, ang isang tao tapos nangyari sa kanya yan napakasakit yun napakasakit yung ganun and this happens to any of you know uh, any, anyone I love and I know any anyone close to me uh, I would take action on this uh, I'm praying na huwag naman po mangyari. Uh, alam niyo, gusto ko lang sanang ano, ipamulat po sa lahat na isang malaking bagay ho ito, hindi ito, hindi ho ano eh, hindi ho, hindi ho kailangang baliwalain itong pangyayari ito. Dahil uh, tao, tao ho ang ano eh, tao ang nawala, tao ang namatay. Napaka-importante yung tao. Napaka-bait yung tao. Eh. Hindi lang mabasa kasi yung tao si Chocolate. Eh. Mabait po siya. Sabihin nyo, meron siyang mga issues na ganito. May ganyan-ganyan. We're just humans. We're, we're not perfect. You know? Uh, yun. So, para sa akin, yun lang. Ayan, ayan another thing nga pala naalala ko. Uh, Kailangan siguro, uh, the Senate should do something about this. Uh, alam niyo yun, yung protocol, uh, this first, uh, you know, the, the things I've mentioned from the beginning till end, na kailangan protocol yan for every show. Kailangan yan siguro, if it's not in, uh, in the articles of the law regarding this matter, they should add something about this that this um, materials that I mentioned the ambulance the doctor nurses and everything from start to the end are necessities for uh, you know uh, for every show that should be held anywhere any day at any time Ilampo. And thank you so much. God bless you all. Chocolate. Mahal na mahal kita. <laughs> nung nakilala kita nung college. Uh, alam mo yun. Alam mo yun nung pumunta ako pag ano. Nung pumunta ako pag gabi. Na ano po. Na nagbalik sa akin yung yung panahon ko. No? I was, you know, really hoping to be uh, a known singer. And... Uh, I was a member of a supposed boy band nun. So, hindi nung po natuloy. Pero, alam niyo yun, yung mga tao na kilala mo nun, pag, pag nawala, tapos, umalik ka rin sa lugar na kung saan kayo nakikita madalas dati, dinaano ko nga po yung 22nd Street, kung saan ako lagi na doon. Dinadaya ko pa yun. I was too young then. Dinadaya ko pa yun. I was afraid to travel, but still, I I go there just to see him, just to talk to my friends there, my boy bandmates. Uh, ano po? Mas mawala na rin ang ganun. Masakit ba yun? Masakit. Malungkot, malungkot. Ganun kasi siguro pag entertainer na ano, uh, iyakin. <laughs> uh, thank you so much po. God bless you all. Chocolate, I love you. Rest in peace. <laughs>